Let me go ahead and get into some of the other news that we have here in front of us. The Mail Online reports social websites harm children's brains, chilling warning to parents from top neuroscientists. And I've read over these findings. This just matches the literally, it's one of the most studied things out there, thousands of other government industry studies, internal studies by television companies themselves. You can just, as we talked about, Google the term TV viewing Alzheimer's or TV viewing brain damage. And TV uh, lowers people because of the flicker rate and other issues down into a dreamlike state of lower uh, cognitive development. And the average person watches over four hours of TV, children even more. And so they don't, sociologically, psychologically, they don't know how to communicate with people anymore. They don't know how to talk to people. They'll sit two feet away, text messaging somebody who's right by them. And this is accelerating as people literally get sucked into their television sets, is the analogy. Uh, they are becoming, you know, Borg. And parents like it because they can go off and watch TV themselves or surf the Internet. And, uh, you know, radio. And they've done, you can Google these studies because you have to listen. And then, you have, and then your mind images Everything you're hearing, if I say yellow duck, your your brain just imaged a yellow duck. That made more neural pathways open up. If I say uh, green penguin, you are now imaging a green penguin. Same thing with reading. Reading and listening to radio hit the same areas of the brain. But the studies show radio even more increases intelligence because you have to image it just from hearing it one way, and then with reading, you're seeing it. And the, some studies say that it's both good for the brain, but that it just hits different areas. But it's, it, it, it's similar. You can go read the, all these studies. But with flicker rates with TVs and high-def screens especially, it's a, it, it's a flash. And your brain's picking up the flash. And it's a flashing light that hit I mean, a flashing lights make people have seizures. And they've coded the Pentagon back in the uh, 40s. Had, a, had even calibrated the televisions and did studies. These are public on what mesmerized. I mean, they designed it to take control of your mind. And so they are hitting you and bombarding you with this. And there's all these studies out. It's just a fact that violent video games bring you into an even lower state because you would think that because you're concentrating and watching a screen with a flicker rate that it would actually increase cognitive, but it lowers the brain not just into a sleep state or a sleepwalking state, but playing video games for long periods of time will, and people die doing this, will bring you into a state that is only found in people with serious sleep apnea, very low oxygen levels. But the oxygen's there, but the areas of the brain go into death mode. And because the people are fully focused, they're basically like hypnotized, they're they're meditating. And I mean, I remember playing video games, and that was just Donkey Kong and stuff, and I would get so focused because of the levels, it took such exact focusing, and, you, and for hours, just I would sit there and play, and I remember like stopping the game when somebody came in and I would be like dizzy and, and, and in a daze, you were under mind control. But now you're not beating you know, stuff with a hammer. It is ripping people's guts out, slaughtering humans. Stay with us.